Oh my gosh, we can make components. Uh, glass. Oh, that's huge. Glass. I've got some glass. And the rubber we can get. Oh, that's big right there, guys. Being able to make your own components. That's a that's a big deal. Okay, I didn't know that was there. I'm, I'm very excited about that. Okay, awesome. All right, let's see if we can build the furnace. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sunken Land. Okay, I'm starting on the on our world creation screen here. Uh, my friend Wayne, he he pointed out something to me and asked the question, can we turn off the raids? That was one of the reasons it was keeping him from actually buying the game. And I thought there might be other people in the same boat. So we're going to start here and I'll show you what you could do. Uh, normally I just hit create game to go into my world. But if we hit modify, that gives us the option to change the enemy raid frequency mid is the default you can go to high very high or you can actually turn it completely to none which means no enemy raid on our base so i'm actually going to i don't mind them for now uh, i'm going to turn it to low they've been hit, hitting my base it seems like every two days or so um, i'm going to try on low and see how that makes a difference uh, if you wanted if you change your mind, you can hit cancel, go back. Uh, but I'm going to leave it on low, and we're, we're going to test it out. I may end up turning it off completely if um, if it starts to get too much for me to handle uh, before I get my base. Uh, eventually, I'm going to make a base out in the ocean. Uh, but anyway, that's how it can be done. Uh, I wanted to show you guys that in case, um, as my friend Wayne, his situation was, it might, be, might have kept him from buying the game. And I'm glad that the developers gave us this option. That's very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the game. All right, so here we are in our base. I've got a lot to show you guys. Uh, it looks like it's 4 a.m., I believe. Uh, I've got a lot done. I've been playing this game off camera, and uh, I've got a lot done. Uh, when our last episode, I was wanting to make this steel or scrap metal spear. I've got that made. I've also got the crossbow made, and that is a good time right here. Uh, the bolts are cheap. They make the crossbow bolts. They're just uh, two scrap metal. For 10 bolts this thing I've tried it out it's pretty accurate um, I'm really happy with it uh, let's see what else I've done I've also created a sack which gave me five extra slots in my in my inventory I grabbed some pants I've grabbed some shoes uh, my poor guy here is just missing a shirt so we'll get him a shirt at some point so um, let's see what else have I done uh, a couple blueprints I found I, I can make the boat now let me go back to my inventory we'll go to build and we go to uh, ship, and I can I can craft a motorboat now. And this thing is pretty reasonable to make. Uh, we got the rubber and the components. Ten components is a lot. Um, but the biggest downfall of this is it takes gasoline. And I've only got about six cans of gas. Uh, I can't craft gas. I'm not sure if that's even in the game yet. But um, I'm going to, I don't know. I'm trying to decide. I know this, the sailboat's pretty good. Uh, and it's not too bad. It's eight cloth takes three cloth to make one rope so that's six so about what 14 cloth to make this sailboat that not that's not huge uh, I'm okay with the paddle boat right now I mean it's not horrible I don't think there's more storage on the sailboat uh, motorboat eventually I'll, I would definitely make that that's pretty cool that I found the blueprint already uh, so eventually I'll make that I'm just not sure if I'm quite ready for it yet so um, let's see what else um, well I want to upgrade our research table and let's see what that takes. So right now, really all we can make is um, glass wall, wall spikes, wall trap fridge, the two-handed axe, and scrap armor. Uh, to go to upgrade two, we need 15 rubber. I think I have that. Wood, metal's a big deal. I don't think I have 10 components. Let me see how many components I have over here. Oh, let me show you about, or tell you about a couple of updates I came out with. Um, one, we can stack our boxes now. So that's very cool. That was some, one of the things that I asked for. And then also, they came out with a, what do they call it, a packing box. Just takes eight wood planks, and you craft that. I haven't tried this yet. Uh, it, you, or you make a packing box so you can pick up your items and move them. So that's pretty cool. Haven't tried it yet. I will eventually, of course. Uh, let me see if I've got any components over here. I've got... Uh, 21 rubber, so that's pretty good. Um, I found a lot of decorations. Yeah, I got six cans of gas. 
A lot of cool decorations. I'm going to wait till we make our metal base somewhere out in the ocean. I haven't decided yet where that's going to go. Um, so I'm, I'm saving these. We can track and use them to trade, but I want to actually use them to decorate, so that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, one thing I want to show you guys also. Uh, these have a value. Some of them have a value down the bottom right. This silver coin says it's worth 10. That's value to the trader. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's worth 10 coins to her. Uh, her system is all barter system, as you know. So it's, it's really random what this stuff's worth. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to hang on to it. Uh, okay, components. I'm not there. I still got to do some serious organization. I've got eight components. Dang, we're close. What did I say? Uh, ten? Uh, ten? Yeah, I've got the rubber. I need two more components. Okay, we'll do this today. I'll, I plan on doing this today. But first thing we're going to do, we got our we got our new crossbow here. Uh, I got 95 bolts going on this thing. This thing's pretty accurate. I really like it a lot. And I got my new my new scrap spear. So we're going to go we're going to go on our first raid today. And what we're going to do, I believe is this mute settlement right here. Um, again, this percentage is how much you've gathered. I'm really cl I'm at 76% on their starter island, so I'm pretty close. Uh, and then this other stuff, I just really haven't uh, haven't really done much. Well, like 90% of the trading output. There's probably some stuff underneath, or it could be wood that I haven't harvested yet. I'm not sure about that. Uh, District 43, I just found that. Uh, the mansion, haven't done anything with that. Uh, but we're going to go on our first raid right here at this mutant settlement, and I'm going to see what we get. Um, I've watched a little bit of video uh, on that settlement, so I'm kind of excited to try out our new crossbow and see how that works out for us. Uh, let's see, we've got, um, I've got some healing, canned food that gives us, um, gives us 20 health, which is good. I got some energy drinks. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to be okay. I don't have, well, I'm going to be okay on food. Yeah, uh, I don't think I have any spare food, actually. i got to do some organization still just uh, drink. I put my old bow away. Now that i got the crossbow, I probably won't ever use this again. So I'm going to leave that hanging out. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. So, um, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go check out this. Let's go check out this island and see, or this uh, settlement. Now, closing the door, it's a little tricky. I've learned uh, you don't really face the door. You kind of face the door frame. That seems to work out better. You guys are struggling with the door like I was. All right, so let's get on our trusty little paddle boat here and get in the driver's seat. And we are going to go to Mutant Island. Should be straight this way. Mutant Settlement, sorry. And um, yeah, we're just going to be a little careful. And I think it's just right up. It's the one with the spikes on it, I believe. Yeah. Alright, so I'm anxious to see what we can get. I've got a plan. That never works out very well. But I'm gonna, we're going to see what we can uh, hit at ranged here. By the way, uh, you hold down right mouse to, uh, to aim. There is a toggle. If you like uh, mutant settlement mutants. If you like the, the toggle... You can do that. You can select that as an option. All right. Let me see here. Let's see if I can hit any of these guys. Okay. Let's see what kind of range this thing has. Is that guy just... I think he's kind of hiding behind that. Am I really that bad? This must have a pretty good drop. I don't think I've hit him yet. We are floating in. Okay, that should hit him. All right, let me see if I can just... See if I can get up here a little closer. Man, he's in a pretty good spot. Okay, how did that not hit him? 
I just, I don't know how many people's here. That's the problem. There's one right there. That hit him. Okay, two shots. Oh gosh, hey. I, did I have one shot? I, I one shot at him. Okay, he's down. Okay, that must have been a headshot. So it says you can't use this underwater. But if you're kind of kind of floating at the surface, then you can. All right, I don't think that was that guy up there, was it? All right, I'm going to be careful. This is my first little little raid here. I'm going to be careful. Okay, there's one there. Got him. Oh, he's coming. All right, let's back off a little bit. I see him. There he is. Got him. Well, he's not down. That was a bad shot. Alright, he's down. Okay, that's three. I don't I think this guy's still up here. He is. That got him. There we go. Nice. Okay. Alright. I'm not celebrating yet. See if I can loot this guy. Okay. They don't have a lot of... They got cloth, which is big. Not a lot of great loot. But I think they got some pretty decent stuff here on the island. Alright. Was that four? Alright. I'm not going to loot, of course, till... Okay, there's another one. This thing reloads fairly quick. Alright, we're gonna melee use this. Alright, there's another one. She's wondering what's going on with their little buddies here. That's three shots. Four. Okay, no, none of those were headshots, though. Probably shouldn't be looting. But I don't think it... I don't think it despawns. Alright, let's check our backside. Nothing? That hurts a little bit. Alright. I have a feeling we're not done. Was that five? I can't write five mutants. Man, I don't have any idea if they respawn. I bet that's the good loot there. Alright, I'm just making sure we're clear. And this is probably the easiest one. Uh, they had no, uh, no ranged weapons. They were all just melee. This is the closest... You know, this is the closest island to the starter island. Wood I just hear. Thought I heard some something, something beating. Like they were attacking my boat or something. Maybe I'm paranoid. Alright. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and loot. So that first guy was shooting. I don't know. I think I was. I thought I was hitting him, but uh, he could have been protected by whatever he was standing behind. He or she. I don't know which one it was. There were some female mutants here. Just to be fair. All right. So we're gonna getting some good scrap. Of course, the biggest. 
thing you want here is the rubber. Uh, okay, we're we're not we're okay. Um, oh, I also upgrade my axe. Sorry, I've got to tell you guys that. It does more damage than the other one. Uh, I don't know if uh, take that drink. I don't know if it, you know, if it's any quicker. It should be a little quicker. Oh, I got a magazine. What's that? Uh, oh, that's for sale. Well, that quite valuable. Selling to traders. Okay, the value you see in the bottom right is 15. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna have to unload some stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to unload. Nice thing about this, you can uh, go to your chest. You don't have to even get on the boat. I need some components. I need I need a couple of components to upgrade that uh, research table because I think I think the research table. The second tier, I believe, has the furnace, and that's really our next big thing to go for. Um, I crafted the axe, or the pickaxe. I'm not sure if I was that was in the last episode or not, but crafted the pickaxe, so we can start finding ore now. I'm gonna have to find some cars though for um, for the components. Unless I get some in the, this better loot. Oh, nice. A lot of scrap there. Very cool. Alright, give me something good here. Uh, three components. Nice. And beans. Okay. Dang, I'm already full. Um, shoot. Okay, let's see what we got here. And this is the good stuff. Okay, I got two blueprints. Plaid couch and plaid couch. Can I sell one of those? A cigar. Worth 15. Blue oil bottle. Delicate shame. Okay, these are all decorations. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got some gloves. Cool. I don't have any gloves. Okay, that was worth one armor. Um, let's see. I don't really need this fishing bait right now. I'm going to pitch that. Uh... Let me see if I learn this. Okay. And I don't think... Can I sell that? I don't think I can sell it. If I've already learned it, I guess it doesn't do anything. Okay, that's what I was, that was my next question. If you already know it, what does it do? And... I don't want to lose it. Mushroom bird soup. Bird meat mushroom soup. I don't know what it... Um, doesn't tell me what it does for me. Well, we need food. Reduces hunger and thirst rate. Oh, cool. Well, I should have saved that. Darn it. Okay. Oh, well. Now we know. If I get that again, that reduces your hunger and thirst... Oh, that's cool. Put me all the way to full, and it should slow this down. So that's cool. Oh, by the way, I've got to tell you guys, um, we have a sort button here. I totally missed... In the first two episodes. We have a sort button here. Alright. Alright. So the only thing I'm leaving is the fishing bait. Wait. I don't want to leave those baked beans. That's kind of a big deal. Um, okay. I'm dumping the charcoal. I'm uh, okay with that. Actually, I'm curious to see if this stuff will stay here or respawn. Because we'll come back here. So I'm really curious to see if, uh, you know, if the mutants respawn here. Or it's just a one-time deal. Alright. I think I got everything. Whoops, I didn't. Cloth and wood. Okay, I definitely want the cloth. So, some pretty good stuff here, actually. Yeah, and I think we got the components that we need to upgrade the research bench. So, I'm going to go back to the base. And just making sure I didn't forget anything. I don't think I could do anything with this. No. Cool looking place, though. What was there? Was there... If I'm counting right, I think there was about five enemies there. Is that right? So, you know, pretty easily done.
Just have to be a little careful. Alright. F to drive. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Success. Alright, let's head back to base and we'll unload and see if we can upgrade a research table. Now, you know what? I just looked at the map. It says mutant settlement 89%. So that means... Uh, do I have any storage left in this? I do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to double check. Because that kind of tells me there's maybe some stuff underneath that I missed. It's underneath the uh, settlement. So I'm going to look real quick. I'd like to clear this out. 89%. So that means I missed something or there's something underneath here. So while I know there's no mutants here, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, there's some scrap. Ninety-five percent. So there's one there's something else that I'm missing here. Alright, that really bugs me. <laughs> There's one thing that I'm missing. Alright, I don't see it. Um, you guys that are playing this game... I know i got a couple buddies that's playing this game. Uh, somebody tell me what I'm missing. Alright, well... I'm missing something. But I don't know where it's at. Alright, I give up on this one. It's getting dark anyway. All right, let's head back to base. So I'll kind of keep an eye on uh, how often they attack my base now since I got on low. And just when I'm, what I've read on the Steam forums, I know a lot of people just completely turned it off. Uh, they just feel like that it's just too much. Uh, I've seen some guys that are on like you know mid day 25 or so, and it's just you know they have they attack with full range weapons, and it's just it's just too much. So I get that. Uh, I haven't had that happen to me yet. They've all just been melee, I believe. Uh, but they, you get further in, they start attacking. They start attacking uh, with full range weapons, and uh, yeah, it gets a little more intense. All right, give me the second. I'm gonna unload. Uh, oh, I've got my wood, my wooden chest, my my wood in this wooden chest, and I actually put it underneath. Uh, my grill, which is kind of cool. All right, give me the second, guys, to unload, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I've got all my stuff unloaded. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleep because my sleep has been a little off on the game. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and sleep while it's going to let me. There we go. Now let's go ahead and eat. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and eat our roasted scallop. And we've got... I'm going to eat these strawberries. Uh, I'm going to eat these straw. I think i got some strawberries here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat those and save my water. There we go. I am growing strawberries up top. Right there. Wait. Where is my... Okay, I had a planter box up here. It's gone. Not sure what happened to that. Uh, yeah, I, had, I was growing strawberries up here. Just one box, but it's gone. I don't know, maybe last time I got raided, maybe they, I don't know, maybe they destroyed it. I don't know. Anyway, I'll make some planters boxes. I'll do that off camera. You guys seen how those look. It's not too exciting. All right, now, uh, last thing I want to do is upgrade this workbench. Let me put this stuff away. Uh, oh, I made another wooden chest over here. I'm keeping all my gun parts in and my charcoal. This is used to make gunpowder eventually. Uh, when you make the, uh, what's it called, gun, let's see, let's, what's it called, gun workshop, yeah, that'll be at some point, but you have to have iron to make that, that's where we need the furnace, alright, let's upgrade this thing, uh, let's see what it takes, we need, uh, 10 components, 15 rubber, 15 metal, and 15 wood, so 15, 15, 15, and 10, alright, I think I've got everything, 
We got a good amount of cloth too. That's so hard to find. That's such a such a rare. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab this food. I don't have anything left to cook. All right, let's upgrade this bad boy and see what we can make now. Uh, oh, I need five more rubber. Shoot, thought I had everything. Sorry. And I've got it. Yes. Okay. So always get those tires whenever you see them, because that rubber. You need to upgrade a lot of different things. All right, we should everything we need. Boom. Yes, okay. Now we got some cool stuff. We got a stove. Can be used to cook more nutritious meals. Uh, improved grill. Faster cooking. Oh, so you can make meals out of this. This improved grill is just faster cooking, saving wood, and produces more charcoal. Uh, that's cheap. Uh, that's just three components. I have the rubber. I can't do the stove. Uh, but the, the uh, okay, two things I want. Uh, advanced purifier. This is really cool. Uh, this works better than our old water purifier. I've seen this on the video. It's really cool. Um, the cool thing about I want to show you real quick. The cool thing about that is this. We have to go get buckets of water. This game. I get so excited about this game. This thing we have to get buckets of water. It's just time consuming. The other one you actually pump the seawater with a handle. It's so cool. I can't wait to make that. Uh, that's going to be really cool. Alright, so that's the uh, advanced purifier. Uh, I'm, well, again, I need iron. Okay. Now, the big thing I want is this air filling station. This, you fill air tanks up. And the air tanks are on this side. Small air tank. Uh, it takes one iron, the rubber components. So what this does, it allows us to dive deeper. It's like a separate air tank. I'll show you. It goes right here. You put the little air tank in there. That allows us to dive deeper. It's like a separate thing than your eight, than your O2 oxygen. So once the air, you use the air up on that, then it transfers to your regular oxygen, and you're back to where we are now. So that's very cool. You can craft, you know, more tanks. Um, but just to research it, I gotta have iron. So my fur, my next thing I've got to build is the furnace. And, oh my gosh, I can make it. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and make this because I know I can move it. And I'm not ready to build, build my base yet. I know I'm going to build my base out in the middle of the ocean, out of metal. Um, I'm going to do that very soon. Uh, and I'll make that an episode. But uh, now that I know that we can pack this stuff up and move it, I want to make this furnace. Because I want to start uh, getting some ore gathered up. So I just need some more scrap and wood, and we are good to go. Good stuff. I, I love the crafting this game. There's, there's so many cool things. I mean, yeah, a lot of this stuff is in other survival games, but uh, the, the, the way they, the look of this, the stations, in my opinion, they just look good. The developers just did an amazing job on this. All right, so we can do this. Well, we have to research it. I can research it now. Now, what do I need to craft it. Uh, okay, let me finish look at this, show you guys. Um, we got an armor work workshop, we got an anvil used for crafting advanced metal weapons, okay. That will come in real soon. Uh, armor workshop, we can make a safe. Not too concerned about that right now, unless it has more storage. Uh, if anybody could tell me if this has more storage than a regular box, or is that just used, uh, maybe the bandits can't break into it, I don't know. And then this side, We've got uh, black powder for making uh, ammo, of course. Black powder ammo. Molotov, which takes gas. Percussion pistol. Um, I could actually craft that now. Probably, I probably have enough components to make that. 60 damage. Mm, I don't know, I'm going to wait on that. we got a triple barrel pistol. Um, that takes the uh, same components. Combat armor. Which takes a sh marlin fish skin. Okay. Um, I thought that was shark. Okay. Well, um, we we can get marlin. We've done that. We've done that. But it, again, it takes iron. Uh, iron helmet. Okay, that gives me seven armor. That's pretty good. Uh, the backpack. Uh, I definitely want that. Oh, that takes shark skin. Okay, sorry. Uh, and that's not too bad. Marlin and shark. That's not bad. Uh, that will definitely be on my agenda very soon. We're going to take on a shark, and I'll get that on camera. I won't do that off camera, so you guys can see that. 
Uh, I've seen video of people killing them. They're not horrible, I don't think. Um, unless they change that. But right now, they're not too bad. Oh my gosh, we can make components. Uh, glass. Oh, that's huge. Glass. I've got some glass. And the rubber we can get. Oh, that's big right there, guys. Being able to make your own components. That's a that's a big deal. Okay, I didn't know that was there. I'm I'm very excited about that. Okay, awesome. All right, let's see if we can build the furnace. Uh, let's see. Where's it going to be? Probably... Uh, build? Yep, there it is. Dang it. Eight rubber. Ooh, that's going to be close. Uh, I know I have more. I don't know how much more. Oh, I've got it. Oh, yes. Um, what else did I need? Sorry. Uh, I'm excited. The furnace. Build, uh, oh, just more scrap. Okay. We can do this. Yes. Roasted bird meat. Gotta love that. I got a couple of roasted mushrooms. Okay, guys. Where are we gonna put the furnace? Um. Hmm. You know what? I want to put the furnace right here. Just because I like it there. Uh, but. Okay, let me let me see if I can. I want to clear that. I want to clear that out. Dang it. I'm getting attacked. Are you kidding me? Okay. You guys saw me turn that to low, right? Whoa. Oh, these guys got guns. Uh. They got crossbows. Okay. Dang it. I'm hurt. Right, he's down. Yet. He's, oh man, he's like long range. Okay, oh wait. Oh my gosh, he got me. Okay. Alright. They are tearing my. They are tearing me apart. Alright, we're going to do it. I got nothing because they took everything. Okay, this gonna be a problem. So all you have is what's on you. One down. Come on. He's like going through my base. Okay, I think I got one left. And he's got a crossbow. He's got to reload. Dang it. Okay. Alright, we're okay. I only got one left. You don't lose what's in your toolbar. They have just absolutely tore my base to pieces. <laughs> All right, punk. You're down. Oh man. Okay. Well. Oh shoot. He's he's uh he's out in the water. All right. Let me see if I can get some of my stamina back. Uh, I gotta have some food near somewhere. I got food somewhere. Does that give me stamina? It does. Okay. Um, okay, I gotta get my I gotta get my backpack back. Which is Okay, it's on top of my base here. Alright, I got energy drinks. Okay, and I got healing. Okay.
Okay, we only got one punk left. And I should be able to get him my crossbow. He's still out in the water. Man, they butchered my base. Okay, that pretty much answers my question about uh, I'm turning off attacks for a while. Yeah, I turned it down to low, and they still kind of did a number on my base here. Yeah, I haven't forgot about you. Missed him. Okay, that hit him. That hit him. That was a miss. That hit him. Should be the last one I saw. No, I just. Okay. Hope you got something good, man. You did a lot of damage. Mushroom. Are you kidding me? That's weak. Now, uh, I'm going to check on my boat. Because they do damage your boat. Um, okay. It's good. I don't think I had anything left in my chest. I did. Wow. Okay. So, uh, the good news is they didn't take out any of my chest. So that's cool. Um, <clears throat> Alright, give me just a second. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do a little repair work here. Okay, so let's see what they did to us here. Um, you don't have to have, you do not have to have, uh, like, wood in your inventory to do the repairs. Just about took this whole wall out. They were working it over pretty good. Pair simple purifier. Oh wow. They even did damage to that. Okay, I don't think they did oh they did damage to my research table? Ooh. That would have been a bad deal. I lost that. Yeah, so I don't see I don't have um, I don't have any wood in my inventory, so you don't have to have materials to do repairs. So thank you for that developer. I mean that's most games, you have to have the resources. Alright, let's go ahead and... I want to... Uh, okay, well, we're not done here. Yeah, they were working me over pretty good. Alright, I think we got the repairs done. Go ahead and uh, build my walls back up. I'm gonna go build a uh, wall or window. Yes. And we need a door. Okay, I think we're back to normal. And we pretty much wasted a whole day. All right, let's go ahead and put this furnace down. Now that I've got things back to normal, I was going to show you the packing box, but um, I'll show you that probably show you that next episode. Well, let's see. Let me. Well, I, I'm pretty sure we have to empty this out. Well, let's see if we can do this real quick. I'm just going to throw all this stuff in here. Reorganize later. So let's make this packing because I want to. Okay, this this is empty. I want to see how this packing box works. So craft one. Use to pack placed objects back into your inventory. 
Okay, to use it, right click. Wooden chest. Okay. And. Wait a minute. Oh, pack up. I'm sorry, right click. The items placed inside of this object will be destroyed. Are you sure to pack it up? Yes. Okay, so you gotta make sure. And there it is. Okay, you just gotta make sure and. Oh, so maybe we can reuse that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You just gotta make sure you cleared it out, which I did. Now then, we should be able to put this back. Yes, back over here somewhere. Like so. Okay, okay, that works. That works very well. Good job, guys. Just gotta read. Okay, and then I'm gonna sort. But I want this down here. I don't want my mushrooms in there. That looks like charcoal. All right. So the sort won't necessarily put them where you want them, but there's a sort button. Okay, I like the packing box. That's cool. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to hang on to it. Looks like that could be reused. You only have to make it once. That's awesome. Was not expecting that. Um, let's see. Add wood. Go ahead and cook that. All right, now the furnace I'm going to put over here. Where are we at? Build. Um, furnace. Okay, rubber. Rubber. And shoot. What else did I need? got everything. And... Varnish. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put it right here. There we go. Add wood. Alright. And to place an item, I don't have anything. So that's what we got to find some ore for. Yes. So I will work on that. Um, I'll probably do that off camera. Well, yeah, I want to show you guys what the nodes look like. I know we got sulfur. I know where sulfur is at. We got to find some iron, and I know there's copper. But we get the furnace done. That's, that's a big deal because that gets us going. All right, guys. Hey, uh, I'm excited about what we got done today. We got our first raid. We got the furnace built, and uh, and we got we survived another attack on the base. So, um it's looking pretty good. If you guys like this episode, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate each and every one that subscribes. Come back and see me for more episodes of Sunken Land. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.